Nada. All right, guys, been through the rules in the locker room. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. You want to touch gloves, do it now. Best of luck to both of you. Biggest test for Joel Romero in his strike force debut. As Boss mentioned, he's not come up against a guy like Rafael Fajal. Rafael Fajal now. Rafael Fajal back in the old days of the IFL. He's gone back uh, more to the Brazilian roots in his pronunciation. Had Americanized it. Usually it's the reverse. Yes, usually it is. Here we go. The start Ooh. of this fight. Much anticipation. Yes, yes, yes. Gonna do because with his wrestling, he can shoot and put you on your back. And Fei Zhao is gonna expect a punch, I think. Yeah, Fei Zhao, anyone that looks at this had to be curious. Romero, great wrestler, always wins by way of knockout. Though. Yeah, so you don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a punch, it's gonna be a takedown. If Joel would be, be smart, he would go for a takedown, and in the second time, Fake a take down, go for a strike. Well, the crowd here has seen three outstanding fights, particularly that last one with me and defeating Santos. They want action. <laughs> they, they have not been used to a minute's pause tonight. Yeah. Romero tried here a flying left, uh, right front kick, a la Machida style. Mejiao comes in with the first punch. Shots. You can see how they move the body. Uh, it's a minute and a half jumping around. People are going to like this. Uh, oh, big high kick. It just missed. Scrapes the top of Romero's head. That means hands up. I think that's one of the reasons these guys are dancing around a lot. They, yeah. you know, we know what Fajal can do, and Fajal's probably wondering what can Romero do. I think Romero is going to go maybe for a takedown here. I'll nice kick. Head. Nice, strong kick by Fajal. Comes in with a Superman that misses. Fajal getting action grabbed up a little more two minutes in. Fajal is going to put Romero in a little bit of trouble with those kicks. If he can keep, continue doing this, he's going to go for a takedown. I want to take that risk. That right high kick is a big wake, wake upper, so to say. Well, the, some of these crowds want a wake upper right now. Yeah, they need a big high kick for that. But I got to say, with the caliber out there, I don't blame Romero for dancing around a little bit and getting the feel for this. He's only had four pro fights, and this is a tough guy to be in with for your fifth. It's, it has to be his toughest fight. Fajal, 10 wins, 9 of those by way of knockout. So we know his punching ability. And maybe the crowd knows it as well, and they want to see that big punch right now. You wonder what Romero's strategy is, though, boss. <laughs> He's been run about a half a mile in the cage right now. Body shot, she's pulling it up now. Same thing, left the body right hook to the head. Most of the time, when you throw the first punch really hard, and the second time when you do it, they're going to block it. They're going to go, no, 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 I got it. But that sets him up for the hook to the head. Romero hasn't landed a punch, has he? No, not yet. So right now, the first round would go to Fei Zhao. In a minute 20 seconds to go, so Fei Zhao again, the big, that would have been a big swing and a miss for this to place of the oldest professional baseball team in America. The old Cincinnati Red Legs got it all started. That looked like one of those swings for the homer, you know, when the guy just misses, but he swings big anyway. Fei Zhao might have been doing it just to get the crowd a good for him. No, and just to let him know that they'll watch out for me. I got more weapons. Romero comes in and every time nice kick, he... Oh. Romero is so hard on his feet. Like almost like Dominic Cruz dancing around so yeah. light. Yeah. Well, for a light heavyweight, it's amazing to see this. Yeah. If you were going on style, Romero would be doing great in this fight, but he's doing nothing else. He's not doing anything. Okay, they're going to get one. They're not going to 
fight, we're gonna get point Romero getting the warning here from Dan Mergliotta. Something happened, something else? Or something along those lines. What's he looking at? I don't remember seeing that. I thought he was gonna go for it. Oh. I don't know if he's telling him to pick it up or not. I don't know. No, he should have, I think. I oh, thought he was at first. Now he's taunting. Interesting that a man who's yet to throw a punch would taunt. Yeah. But he's doing that with 18 seconds to go in what has been a tepid first round. Thank goodness that Fajal has swung a few big kicks in there and we would all fall asleep perhaps. Romero now going to try to get the takedown. Doesn't oh. get it. Fajal pops right back up. That's a big warning there for Romero. That and means I'm not going to take you down that easy. First round comes to an end, and you can uh, pretty much figure it out by the response from the crowd. I think Fajal did exactly what he needed to do. Oh, we got Pedro. He's in the corner here. And a reminder, tune in every week, or we will hunt you down to watch Inside MMA. Getting ready to go into our fifth year with our 200th episode coming up. Nine Eastern, six Pacific time, right here every Friday night inside MMA on HDNet. Your home for MMA. A lot of pleasure working with Ron and Boston. It is an unrehearsed, an unrehearsed event. As Reed Harris, who's been our guest several times, would tell us, sitting just to our left. We don't rehearse inside MMA, do we? We just show up and do it. Thank you, you for that. Yeah, Thank you Harris. for that solicited plug from me. But we just show up. We hope Romero shows up for the second round because he dances great. On his feet, he's great dancing. He's on his feet. I don't know. Great. He tried to get the takedown. Fajal pops right back up on him. You know, it, they always say the wrestlers say takedown in wrestling. When you wrestle, it's a whole different ball game when it's in MMA. There's some guys are just very, very good at takedown defense, and you get, well, silver medalists from the Olympics coming in here. We have a hard time taking guys down. We never wrestled in the life, professionally, so to say. Fei Zhao, the former Strike Force champ, there you see in his corner, big nog among those. Oh, nice kick by Fei Zhao, and here's Romero against it. Is that all you got? Yeah, which is much I think the people are now asking, well, what do you have? Yeah. Oh, full in the pills. Ay, 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 ay. The first strike for, for Romero and it's below the belt. Below the belt. You see, that's not uh, that's not good. He wants to come over. Mergliata doesn't see him coming over. He wants to let him know it's all right. Mergliata said, "Get back over there." Neutral corner time. Bejal will have if he needs it five minutes. Well, that's here we go. Let's see how this looks. Let's get there. Talk. Gee. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, his uh, striking is not, not up to par yet. You know, he's got a little work more better on the, on the control of the kicks. But his punches are very, very strong. Vajal's okay, comes right back. Gonna, and I should kick him in the face. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm interested in what this style would be, boss. I don't know. You know, we want to see something that actually works. I don't know, she's setting him up for something, so let's just wait. It is. It, it's obviously a Toby Maguire move. Fejia almost go. He knocks himself down with that kick. Lost his balance. Pops right back up. Romero flies in with the knee for the first time. He tries to get some action going here in the second round. Ooh. Misses with that big swing. Great take down defense again here. And Romero, Fejia. look at this. He's been playing possum. And here he tries to unleash something finally in the Ooh. second round. And he's got something to throw. Whoa, big, big brawls, big brawls, but he's got to pick his shots. Fajal is doing that. He's picking his shots. Fajal again, covering up right now. Romero can go to the body, tries to work the head, and Fajal swings his way out of it. Romero just needs to connect one time. He's got to watch out. Great takedown, but then again, there's the fence, and you're back up. And you don't have that fence with wrestling. And that's the problem. Fajal a little winded right there. Yeah. <laughs> looking, looking to the sky, looking to the ceiling to catch his breath. Because he's probably wondering, like the rest of us, where you've been for the first round and a half of this fight. Yeah, see it's totally by surprise. So it could have been all the game plan. Like I said, you know, let's see what he does with this crazy move, those antics. What is he called? The Soldier of God? That's his nickname? Romero? 
should be the Cuban possum. <laughs> he keeps fighting like this. Oh, he's dead. You can tell. Very light. He's very good. Worked a little bit on his striking. To he has some pretty quick hands, has he? Yeah, he does. But, you know, he doesn't land them yet. You know, and he, he mixes them up. This was all hooks, 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 yeah. hooks. You know, that is like the, the basic hooks all day. You just start throwing straight and hooks and mix those up with head and body. You know, you open a whole new package there. And the guy with his ability, ooh, you should think it's going to Nice be kick by Fajan. Again, you see yeah. Romero taunts a bit, tries to go in. Take down the fence again here. Can't get Calvacante down. Do look at this. Who's the wrestler here, he says. Who's the wrestler? Fajal oh. is right now. Wow, that's a silver medalist there. He did that pretty easy. But, but that's, of course, I don't think that Romero expected that. You know, he, he never expected to go for a thing. Huh? I think the second time will be harder to do. So he does all swings. He needs to go. Start loading up and make straight to the body and then go for the head. He's in great shape, though, because he's not slowing down. Romero. Nice elbow there. See, but again, all hooks. Just near enough to get with that. Up again, the hooks in the straight. Oh, that's almost all the basic punches, actually. Under a minute to go in the second round, and last some action taking place in this round is Joel Romero. Some swinging, some actual attempts at takedowns, and uh, certainly everything he didn't do in the first round, he was trying to do in the second round. Yeah, but what we'll, we'll see if we can get here also, he's fighting a guy, a high caliber fighter, and he had only four fights. You know, we, we, that's called him fast, but he's doing actually, you know, a job. he's doing a great job. Oh, oh, he got him on the swinging back fist. Fajal stuns Romero, he's down. Fajal delivering the blows. Fajal with his best punch of the night. Oh, and Fajal hurts him. Fajal has him staggered, has him down. Fajal puts it away. Whoa! That was awesome! Fajal is back with a vengeance. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, man. He is just waiting for the right moment to deliver that shot and out of nowhere. Bam, bam, bam. You see, that's what I said with controlling the punches. Romero wasn't doing that, throwing everything, throwing everything. And, and just face out was picking his shots. And that is impressive. That's, that's the, you know, well.